With Into the Light's release, some of the best weapons in Destiny history are back, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to obtain all 6 of these weapons alongside their curated roles as quickly and concisely as possible. Drop a sub if you want to help us reach 5k subs before the end of this year, and let's get right into it. Elsie's Rifles quest, Stranger Danger, is the first obtainable weapon quest from r 9940 and will become obtainable after reaching step 6 of the Feats of Bravery Into the Light intro quest. You will need to complete Stranger Danger before you get access to all of the later weapon quests. This can be done by getting either 100 precision pulse rifle final blows with additional progress granted in Onslaught, or by getting pulse rifle kills in the Vanguard Ops playlist with additional progress coming from higher level Nightfalls. Personally, I chose to go with Onslaught for all these quests as it seemed like the easier and more entertaining way of completion, but I will mention when it might be more efficient to do otherwise. Once you complete either objective, return to the Hall of Heroes and commune to the Shaq statue holding Elsie's rifle. Once you've done so, return to Shaq's and he will give you the curated role for Elsie's rifle with Rewind Rounds Adrenaline Junkie. Grabbing this Pulse Rifle will grant you access to all of the other weapon quests, which can be obtained and completed alongside each other. Starting with Recluse Endangerment, this quest requires rapid SMG final blows, with additional progress granted in Onslaught, or 50 SMG defeats in the Crucible. This is probably the most time consuming quest if you choose to go with Onslaught, as it took me two full 50 wave completions, only worrying about SMG kills and nothing else to get this done. So if you can, I would highly recommend just going with the Crucible, as it can be much quicker depending on your proficiency in PvP. Either way, once you complete an objective, return to Shax yet again, and he will reward you with a curated version of the Recluse that is just the original role of Feeding Frenzy Master of Arms. Jury Duty requires Precision Scout Rifle Final Blows, with Onslaught yet again granting additional progress, or Scout Rifle Final Blows in the Vanguard Ops playlist, with additional progress yet again coming from higher level Nightfalls. Once you complete either of these objectives, return to Shax and he will reward you with Hung Jury's curated role of Enlightened Action Box Breathing. Edgelord requires rapidly defeating combatants with heavy grenade launchers, with additional progress yet again coming from Onslaught, or defeating combatants with heavy grenade launchers. Just use a heavy GL in Onslaught, and you will at some point complete one of these two objectives. Once you've done so, return to Shax and he will give you Edge Transit's curated role with Envious Assassin destabilizing rounds. Right of Succession requires Precision Sniper Rifle Final Blows with additional progress in Onslaught, or Final Blows in the Vanguard Ops playlist with additional progress provided for higher level Nightfalls. Once either of these two objectives are completed, return to Shax and you will be rewarded with Succession's curated role of Focus Fury Led from Gold. Spin to Win is our final weapon quest, and requires Rapid Sword Final Blows with additional progress coming from Onslaught, or Sword Final Blows. Just like Edge Transit, Kill stuff with a sword and onslaught, and you will complete one of these two quests eventually. Once completed, return to Shax and he will reward you with Fallen Guillotine's curated role, which is actually its old god role, that being Relentless Strikes, Whirlwind Blade. That is how to obtain all of the weapons releasing with Into the Light on April 9th. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, love seeing all of your beautiful faces, and have an amazing day.